Hello all, my name is Anku Shagni Utri. This is part 11 of Angular tutorial. If you haven't watched the other parts, I suggest you to watch that first. Link is in description and also please subscribe the channel to get the latest notification. So let's start. Today we will talk about the Angular pagination. Pagination is the very basic function that we need to be implement in every application. So let's try to understand how we can implement pagination into our application. We will implement pagination in the user list component where we are showing our list. Right now if we see our application we have a simple flat list of the users. We don't have any paging information like the how many total records we have into our system and the total number of records and which how many number of records we are showing into our table. So to implement that we are using a third party prime ng data table plugin. So to use that we need some dependencies that we have to be installed at first prior to use the prime ng data table. So these are the four dependencies. Next this is our current output and once we implement the paging this is the final output that it look likes. So let's switch to the code to implement that. So before we start after you install your dependency you have to be make sure open your angular.json file make sure you have a style for your dependencies bootstrap and the prime ng theme and then the next thing is you need to be open the angular.module.ts file where we need to be import the table module This module will be imported from the prime ng import table module. Sorry, table module from prime ng forward slash table. So this is the first module that we need to be tell our application we want to use that. Then switch back to your user list component dot html file. Now what we will do we will write the corresponding supporting html. So to save our time I have that html ready. So if we look at the HTML what we are doing is we are using a prime ng table then for the value we are assigning a user list to it and then we tell the table we need a pagination and how many rows we want to be show at a time and then a current page report and layout should be responsive scrollable and then a message that telling you how many records you have and then you have a number of rows picking option like that you want to be show. After that you define your header template clear. Then on the body we have similar way our HTML columns and then we add two buttons for updating a record and then removing a record from the table. And at last at the bottom we have add new button by which we can navigate to the add user UI. So that's it. Now swi switch back to the user list component dot ts file where we have to be define our methods. So to implement paging we need some basic method as you saw on the output we have a next or previous button we have a first and the end button so implement that we need a next function in which we are defining our methods so these are the variables let's define it and then how many rows that you want to define show it that is of number we initially want to display a 10 records and then we have a previous method in which we are telling them 
just subtract the number of rows in the next we are adding next set of rows and on the reset function we will reset this first page to 0 and then we are checking is last phase whether this is the last page we have to be disable the correspondingly option for that and then is first page option we have to be disable the previous button and at last we have a method remove in which we are using a user service to remove a record from a grid so that is that's it now let's call this get user this dot get users now our HTML is ready let's see our code is compiled yeah it's compiled successfully and now you can see you have a nice little beautiful table with the pagination where you have a number of records and you can choose the options from here and then you have a complete set of it so that's it for today in next session we will see how we can navigate to the add user UI and then we will also implement the icons delete and the update icon for the same thanks for watching see you in the next lecture